Hello everyone, this is Mike. I'm going to bring you a little report on uh, magnets and copper pipe today. <laughs> something a little different. Something I've been working on. I've seen it on YouTube uh, oh, probably six months ago. Where somebody had a bunch of magnets flying around pretty fast and they put some copper to the magnets are really close and uh, the copper uh, got really hot fast solder on it which impressed me so then I carried on I made an aluminum disc this disc is 3 8 of an inch thick we put uh, 3 8 magnets uh, rare earth I think they're a 48 uh, neodymium magnet they're also 3 8 of an inch thick so made it nice and easy to uh, install it into the aluminum uh, disc after I've made it. So, as you can see, um, I've hooked this. I put a quarter horse grinder. Not enough jack, not enough power. I actually had to make a clutch to pull the copper so the grinder would start and then I could initiate it back in to, to get my heating effect, but uh, it wasn't strong enough. So I went to a three eighths or a three quarter inch, a three quarter horse, sorry, uh, one twenty grinder, and this one, this one carries uh, enough strength to start it. But you've got to watch <clears throat> as the copper tube, this copper tube. Let me get you a little better view here. <clears throat> That's a little better. So this copper tube, it. You can't get it too close. The closer the better, depending on the power output of your motor because uh, a lot of drag, it carries a lot of drag as this spins around. I mean, if I run this tube in just so it doesn't quite touch this, this motor won't even start it. Uh, there's a huge amount of drag on that be interaction between the magnetic field and the copper. Uh, which is creating your heat. So I'm going to continue on here. Um, what I've done is I've silver soldered the copper tube to backing from a grinder. So I cut a backing off the tube on it. Solder won't work. You got to go to a silver or something that will stand uh, a couple of hundred degrees at least. If this ever runs dry, you're running into the hundreds of degrees that quick. I mean it doesn't take very long. Um, 10 seconds and that sucker's hundreds of degrees hot. So what I've done, here I'll like show you. We have the tube coming from the grinder. Comes up. I just put a little plastic bucket up there with some water in it. And on the other end of the tube here, as you see, I've squished it off in order to restrict the flow because uh, <clears throat> I was hoping if this would make a hot water, but in the end here, no, I don't think so. Not for the amount of uh, power you're consuming and the amount of water you're putting out uh, in the end. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not economical, it's not even, doesn't. <laughs> but we had to give it a try okay so uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, this grinder makes a lot of noise it up and when I run it <clears throat> so you'll find that um, you basically can't hear as soon as I start the grinder so I do have a little instrument here it's got a laser sighting on it it's a uh, takes temperatures of anything, right, in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And I'm going to run this test on a Fahrenheit scale because we're all, all of us old folks are fairly used to that and some young people might still remember the Fahrenheit scale too. Uh, so I think, uh, I guess I'll uh, maybe show you that my water is cold right off the start here. So uh, we'll take a little reading here. 
move it over to Fahrenheit and it wouldn't hurt giving it a little laser let's go so about 61 62 somewhere in there might even oh yeah we even oh I missed it <laughs> so as you see we're about 61 degrees 62 degrees the copper tube also uh, as I'm pointing it at the copper is approximately 80 degrees but a little bit warmer I had run this a uh, little bit ago but uh, yeah it takes a little while for the the temperature to come down as you see uh, as I move the laser you don't really see it in the video but as I move the laser the uh, temperature changes depending on where the heat was right uh, or how copper was to the magnet wheel and as you can see the wheels fairly close um, not a whole lot of gap so there is about a sixteenth of an inch so I'm gonna set this down for a second I'm gonna start this and then I'll go around and I'll, I'll just show you the temperatures as it's running and uh, you can make your own mind up. Let me know if you think it's uh, feasible, maybe in a different uh, manner of um, manufacturing it might help. <clears throat> this is only one idea and, uh, and it's only mine. I mean, everybody's got different ideas and that's the great thing about us. We can have so many different alternatives to try and to find alternative ways of producing power and uh, amenities we seem to every day okay everyone I'm gonna start it up okay are we ready <laughs> I'm ready as you can see here the wheels about 90 it says 80 something Let's see here. There we go. That's better. I do have about 80 degrees in the house here, which is probably why this is running up so high. Okay, I'm going to start it up, turn the water on, and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. Okay, there it goes. does make hot water. Let me turn it off here. There we go. 
but hmm, not very good hot water. <laughs> hey, they're trying to get a cheap hot water hot water heater on demand deal, and uh, I'm afraid uh, you ain't getting much on demand. <laughs> I'll take a quick reading of the water here. See what the whole bucket reads. Uh, it says 92, 93, 95 degrees. So, put your hand in it. It's warm. Actually, I have just made a short change here a while ago to it. <clears throat> And as you can see, the gap again. Now this gap is critical, right? Uh, the less gap you got, the heater it's the the, the hotter it's going to get that water. So I did have it within a thirty second of an inch here, uh, my last, and I was running approximately one hundred and twenty degrees um, water temp, which is getting it to the point where you uh, almost can't put your hand pretty warm but I just wanted to bring this to you let everybody see uh, if anybody else has got any ideas um, how it might work and why it isn't gonna work I'd love love to hear okay everybody this is Mike I'll talk to you soon a few other projects I'd like to show you too but yeah they're coming in due time right <laughs> okay everybody Thanks. Okay, now we're gone. <laughs>